From the Iraq War to Warmer Dam Field at Fresno State. Here's Paul Leffler with the story of a 24 year old pole vaulter who isn't your typical college athlete. Huge track meet this weekend in the Valley. If you go to the Cal Nevada Championships at Fresno State's Warmer Dam Field today or tomorrow, you'll see the uniforms of 27 different college track teams. But the uniform that makes Fresno State pole vaulter Ryan Rupsich unique is a little different. As you watch him vault high, you just might hear Semper Fi. Ah! These days, the only thing Ryan Rupsich is wielding is a 15-foot fiberglass pole. But things were quite a bit different during his nine-month deployment in the Middle East. And my primary job was supply. Uh, we made sure, you know, all the, from tanks to, to bullets, everything, we had everything and everybody needed everything. But when I was actually in Iraq, they just stuck me on guard. So I was just in a, in a hole with another Marine sitting there looking out onto the desert pretty much. Were you ever scared or nervous? Always, always scared, always nervous. There's no doubt about that. And how often do you think about the guys that are still over there? I think about them a lot, especially, I mean, I'm always reminded, you know, on the news and then in the paper, you know, every time I hear the word Marine or, or military, you know, I always think about my friends. But, um, I mean, it's something I can't forget. After everything he's experienced in the Marines, Ryan says he doesn't take anything for granted, and his coach doesn't take him for granted. When Ryan came back from Iraq, cross country and indoor track had been eliminated, and Bob Fraley was looking for a few good men. Uh, we needed some young men to come in that had some leadership ability and, and really get things going and Ryan's done a great job of that. It's a little ironic to you that he's been banged up since he's been here? Yeah, it is. You know, he went, went through Iraq and he came back and he was fine, you know, and then first thing I know he's out there playing flag football, tears a rotator cuff, then he injured his Achilles later on. It's been about a year rehabbing and I said, what happened to you over in Iraq? And he said, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was very ironic, yes, and coach lets me know every day. <laughs> Other than the fat lip he sustained on a recent landing, Ryan's feeling pretty healthy now. His goal for the season is to fly higher than his personal best of 16 feet. After that, he hopes to fly even higher. After he gets his degree, he wants to become a helicopter pilot. I got selected to go to Officers Canada School this summer. And uh, if all goes right and I pass some other tests, then I'll uh, go into the aviation program, hopefully. Once a Marine, always a Marine. But for three more semesters, Semper Fi will take a back seat to vaulting high. Paul Leffler, CBS 47, on your side, sports. That's incredible. His dad is a former assistant baseball coach at Fresno State, Mike Rupsich, who's retiring, by the way. But today and tomorrow out at Warmer Dam Field, they got the California-Nevada Championships. Okay. Your UCLA Bruins are going to come in with four or five. 16 and 17 foot vaulters, so we got to right. skunk. Well, now who am I supposed to root for when we have a wonderful story Ryan. like that? And then, yeah, yeah it looks like I'm going to root for Ryan, no question. 